Aquarius, welcome to your work and money tarot reading for November, December 2022. Um, what we've got here, Aquarius, is a couple of oracles and a lead tarot energy to guide the reading. And then I've got four cards, which turned out to be five, <laughs> for work career over here. And I have four cards for money, investment, and finance. So um, I have to say it's quite a glowing report card for you. Um, there will be some decisions, yes. Uh, but it really seems that things are heading in a positive direction for you. So let's jump in. The first card out was Unlimited Ideas Aquarius. Now, um, being an Aquarius, <laughs> you are quite innovative and you often do get these inspirations and ideas, okay? And they come from a place that other people can't access. Like, do you ever get that feeling that you're sort of tapping into something beyond you, okay? Well, you're actually tapping into that um, cosmic web of intelligence, you know, that collective consciousness. And because of that, you can actually come up with some really um, innovative ways to move ahead when it comes to work career, when it comes to your money. Don't take it for granted because not everybody can do that. So you might be getting one of those um, downloads, you know, in the next couple of months, right? That really um, leads things in a very positive direction for you, okay? However, the one thing that you need to keep in mind, Aquarius, is that you do need to take action on those ideas. Otherwise, they just remain pure potential. I've got a win-win outcome as forecast. Now, it's the full moon and Libra card. The Justice Energy is the last card in your money sector, and that's the major arcana of Libra. So this could tie into, we see the scales, we see the scales here. This could mean that there is actually um, a positive financial outcome for you uh, this year, where things actually come into balance for you. And the sun, <laughs> the sun, the card that we all want to see in a reading that's around abundance and money and work. It's known as the most positive card in the tarot deck, Aquarius, and it's the card of Leo, and I think it means because you have had the strength, courage, and determination to work hard, to keep pushing, to not back down, and that's why you're beginning to see the results, okay? You've been carving out a path here. Now, I also feel that the sun is saying that um, you can overcome some kind of... I don't really think it's a limitation, but I think maybe I think maybe money wasn't flowing as much as you had hoped. And that I think that's the thing that comes into balance and that you maybe you you do actually manage to clear a debt or get to another level, um, overcome some kind of, you know, minor hurdle there. And it feels like the direction that you that you're heading in, we do have a decision here. Is very positive and bright for you and and victorious i mean the sun's a victory card and the six of wands i was trying to move on to the money sector and it jumped out when i was just finishing career and really wanted to go with those cards so there is definitely a a victory here when it comes to to what you do in the world for work so we'll start here and we've got the eight of pentacles the three of wands two of cups knight of pentacles and the six of wands so in terms of signs i have the Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles, and look how we see the little Leo lion head, which is the tie to the sun here. So um, the Eight of Pentacles shows me that you have been working really hard this year, Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel there's been a prolonged kind of, you know, head down, tail up uh, work period here for you, and it just feels that towards the end of the year, you start to see the results of that of what you've been working towards or trying to achieve some kind of goal. Now, um, you might just see the beginnings of that, okay? But rest assured, the sun is here to apply the warmth and energy that if you do keep going, okay, with that strength, courage and determination, this is going to start growing and expanding for you. So you might have been in the process of, is this even gonna work? Am I getting ahead? Am I just doing this work for nothing? Well, the universe is going to show you the first growth and that's going to give you the motivation to keep going. So if you are 
you know, starting your own thing or you've been trying to start your own business, you might get your first clients, you might, you know, start to see things really expanding. If you're an employee in an organization, it's like you might get some, some wins here, be able to prove yourself. Um, it just feels like, yeah, there are some, some goals there that are being, uh, are being met. So I feel that it's been a longish time coming for you, but don't give up now because what you're creating is becoming a reality. Two of Cups is here and it's in the advice and I'm seeing this as it's saying keep going uh, with this collaboration, okay. Um, if you're partnered with an organization as an employee, you're partnered, um, you know, with a business partner, it feels like that is a positive partnership and um, that the power of you together is what is really helping you achieve these results. So again, keep going. Now, the Knight of Pentacles here at the end of the reading, Virgo Energy, is all about, oh my gosh, I've got that first tangible pentacle has presented itself. So as I mentioned before, it could be, you know, oh my gosh, I've made the first money from my business or um, I've achieved some kind of milestone in my role, okay, that really positions me for progression, for pay rise, for some kind of victory here. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles knows that that is the first step in growing an abundant harvest, okay? And it's about keeping going slowly but surely, be patient because things are actually beginning to work here. Really get down in the details and, and keep planning, keep moving ahead because that is how Six of Wands you will claim this victory. Now, the Six of Wands could also mean that you're starting to stand out, you're starting to be noticed for a job well done, and that will be rewarded. So over here, Aquarius, in your money sector, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords, and Justice. So Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Wands and Libra here. So Ace of Pentacles, new energy for you. And this is either new opportunities to invest, to make money, or you might even receive some money, okay? This could come through a message from the Knight of Wands. Comes in quickly, could come out of nowhere. And it feels like there is potential here with this. This could even be, you know, the, a client win or a contract win that's linked to work career that, you know, you have to make a decision about moving ahead with. Um, it feels like it can take you forward. Knight of Wands is about, you know, going on to a new phase, new frontier, one of growth and um, expansion, like the Wands energy, like there's energy here, you can grow this. So it feels positive, but it there's a decision. There's a decision linked to this. It's gonna put you at some kind of crossroads here. So, yeah, I would say with the Two of Swords, you really need to weigh this up, right? We're weighing something up. Is this going to be a win-win outcome? You might be thinking, do I invest in this? Is this the opportunity I should pursue? We'll come back to the details and the, and the pros and cons. Um, try not to make any emotional decisions on that, but really just look at the facts, look at the numbers. And there still might be an element of you know, calculated risk there, but we can use those projections as a pretty good indicator as to how this will move forward. And justice, you make a decision. You, maybe you receive a verdict on something as well. Like if you have applied for something, some finance or something like that, you get the answer towards the end of the year that puts things in balance for you. So Maybe up until now, if you have felt, look, money's been tight or there might have been a wrongdoing or you haven't been receiving, a win-win outcome is forecast. Things balance up by the end of the year and it feels like there could be some really, really positive news about your finances before we close out 2022. So let's grab you a Divine Abundance Oracle card to close out. companionship. I mean, we've got the Two of Cups there as well. It says giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Like you might be partnership partnering with somebody or it might just be that 
you know, you feel harmony, you know, really coming in in your work sector. And in a child, allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. Yeah, so there might be some um, patterns that are, you know, coming up from childhood experiences or beliefs around you know money money story value and worth and you might be healing something there and that's why things are shifting in a really positive direction so yeah inner child work of course you know can uh, flow through to many different areas whether it's our relationship or you know how we deal with money how we saw our parents deal with money so you might be overcoming something there as well so I'm going to leave it there Aquarius and um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Drop me a comment, let me know how's it playing out for you. Love to share over there and please do hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that keeps the readings coming. Wishing you so much love and magic Aquarius. Bye for now.